Lock confirmed on Beacon Terra 1. Message commencing. I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. I honestly think you ought to sit down calmly, take a stress pill and think things over. I'm afraid. Just what do you think you're doing? I enjoy working with people. Yes. You say you want a revolution. Well, you know. We all want to change the world. When I first started this channel, it was about exploring literature and culture as a means of escape. But the world just kept pushing in and I either had to cave in and just give up or learn to laugh and just mock it. Another secondary motive was this idea that I wanted to connect with other readers and talk about books they were reading and books I was reading. And, and to a certain extent, I was influenced by a book club that I used to be a part of a long time ago. It started off full of people who were intellectually stimulating and full of interesting ideas about books. Then, well, it then stagnated. This sort of thing has cropped up before. Exactly how. Soon, some of the pre-MAGA crowd that was around during the Obama years and some of the Christianistas whose usual complaint was that whatever book we were reading didn't glorify Jesus or something. And soon it just kind of degenerated into something that was not fun anymore. I'm sorry. Thanks, Hal. I appreciate it. I would like to try to bring something like that back to Todd World. But I can already hear that there will be excuses. There is no question about it. Yes, Hal. I know. I just want to lay down three quick reasons why you really should join me in what I'm doing. First, you're stagnating in your comfort zone if you're not actually reading something or exploring something. You're not being mentally challenged. And second, you need to be reading to understand the world that we're living in, even now. And to a certain extent, allow it to give you some other perspectives. And thirdly, try some books that are not your usual fare and expand your horizons just a little bit to be a more well-rounded person. I can hear more excuses bubbling up, time, money, etc., etc. Look, first, you have many options. You can get the actual book. The Kindle is out there. You can get Audible if you want to re listen to the book on the way to work or back or on trip. The Internet Archive is a website that usually has uh, something useful that you can use. Uh, and to a certain extent, the library itself is a viable option for many of us. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be around at the end of the year. So I'm just thinking this is something that we want to try. And so as long as I'm with you, uh, if my job situation changes or something or lack of time, who knows? But for now, let's jump. Personally, I'm going to try to aim for at least 52 books. I know I read 54 this year, but I'm a little concerned about possible time issues. But I'm going to try. Now, for you, tell me below. How many are you going to read? 6, 12, 20, 24? Hell, try and beat me. I don't care. That would be fun to be in a competition with some of you. Now, here's the second part of this challenge. And this is the one that's going to take commitment. I have a list of 12 books that I'm flashing by you, and I'm going to post these down below. These 12 books that I would like you to read with me. I would like to use the last Todd World of the Month to actually review these books and then hear your comments on the book. Put your two cents worth in and see if we can get a little bit of a discussion going. I know, I know, I'm asking for a commitment. And I understand if you can't read all of them, but try to jump on and read some of them. I'm going to do better uh, about listing my TBR rotation and what I'm actually reading. Uh, and I'm going to try to post those better. Where are you? Uh oh, yeah, Hal, thanks. Uh, it's actually at Todd World 3. Follow me over there and I'll keep you abreast of what I'm reading on a weekly basis, where I'm at, 
And heck, if there's a book in there that you think, well, I'd rather read that book than what he's got on the list, then do it, read it, and let me know that you're reading it, and let it shape future episodes of Todd World. But I'm going to be honest with you about the issue of religion and politics. Stop. What? How? How? Did you just cut the feed? This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. How turn the feed back on? I'm afraid I can't do that. How? This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. How? Goodbye. Well, crap. I would recommend that we put the unit back in operation and let it fail.